strong. He made me feel so comfortable and so safe. And then I get in there, y'all, and my wig is stuck on the freaking zipper. And he trying to get my hair off and get the zipper on, my hair on the zipper. And child, I felt my wig move from my forehead back. And I'm like, oh, snap. I know my wig better not come. <laughs> Girl, my wig better not come off. But then they didn't put on billions to watch the part that she had fell asleep on. Child, I was done. I was done with the vlog. Y'all, that is such a distraction for me. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, I, the I wish I can give y'all an update mm, on my relationship, but I can't. All I can do is tell you it ain't looking good. <laughs> it ain't looking good. I have everything I need. I have everything I need. The great I am provides for me. You deserve to not have to do something all the time. And you ain't always got to prove to somebody that you're important but you know people want you to always explain to them or hear you break down why you are important if a person not happy with themselves and for whatever reason they find a reason not to like you you trying to make them like you Gives them more grounds to dislike you even more behind your back. That's when a person got a problem with you. And you, you haven't done nothing to them. You haven't done nothing to them. That's not you. That's them. All right. Testing one, two, one, two. It's been a long day. And you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're gonna feel out of day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here. Hey, spirit of lights. It's my lunch today. Mmm, roasted veggie sandwich. And you know what's the best part? My daughter made it for me. I'm about to eat. Oh, it's going to be so good. It's, oh, it looks so good. I think I'm going to relax for the rest of the day. And I'm glad today not hump day. Because uh, I do got a couple of things to, to do this week. Yeah, so I, I need time to get everything done. So... I'm good. It just seemed like the week is flying, but it's not. It's not going anywhere. It was just Monday yesterday. I was gonna have us buy her a pack of cigarettes. Well, not us, me. I was the oldest. And sometimes I wonder. And I should have said, go get me two single cigarettes. And nowadays, you can't do that. I live in for the little kid. I'm talking about not even 10 in the corner store, and I saved up a dollar. A dollar twenty-five. From like getting all the little quarters and nickels and down. And like friends and family and my mother, friends come over. I went to a quarter store. I would get a bag of candy, mixed candy, a bag of the mixed gum. So they'd be on big pieces of gum, like five cent a piece. Them, the diamond bothering people or something. Yeah, I might not have diamond <laughs> soon. Um, Y'all know it's about time for me to get another car. <laughs> and I always show y'all what kind of car I get. Right? Now, you can't help it because sometimes you're going to see it. But this time, I don't know. I might go out my way. I might not show y'all what kind of car I get. It's doing beautiful. Oh, my eyes are doing good too, y'all. My eyes are doing so good. Let me go to Arby's too, because I got to get me a shake, a chocolate shake. Oh my God, I cannot get over my skin today. My skin looks so beautiful. To the holiday end, the next um, next couple of days later. 
But we call it credit card. And they said it's still pending. I mean pending in the past 10 days. So that's not good. Now look, a lady came up to me and she said uh, she wanted to say hi to, uh, I guess, the Jeep family. And she gave me a duck. And she was like, duck, duck to you. <laughs> oh, good 8 m uh, Spirit of lights, good 8 m Y'all, last night I tossed and turned most of the night. I, I got, uh, for some reason, one of my legs would not sleep. My coffee is pretty good this morning. One of my legs would not sleep, y'all. And I, I just kept tossing, trying to, I even felt Nadine ask, come and ask me, am I okay? And I, um, I told her that one of my legs just seemed like it just, it just was like, child, if it could get up and walk away, it would have did it. It just felt so freaking weird. Like, I don't like that weird feeling, you know? I could not sleep. And then I had to get up this morning. Uh-oh. Uh, child. I don't spell sir everywhere. Hold on. Mm-mm-mm. I didn't think the syrup was going to come out like that. I'm glad it's not like one of them dresses. That's obvious. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, once you spill syrup, you got, you like, stickiness. Wow. It was just coming out, coming out. But we got up five o'clock this morning. We left the house because we have to take care of some important business. And let's get ready to go on 10 o'clock. I'm going to just grab me something to eat real quick. Mm. I was actually hungry last night. But I didn't want to get up and eat nothing. I noticed him was changed about me. Uh, what's changed about me is that I don't eat in the middle of the night no more. I don't know if it's because um traveling so much and I finally get go to bed. I go to bed. I don't want to get out of it until it's time. And then when we're not traveling, we got so much to do. We got to make sure stuff is taken care of. Before we hit the road again. Dirt King French Toast is pretty good. Mmm. Trying to remember who French Toast I had recently. I don't remember tasting this good. Mmm. But yeah, I gotta do something about this. I try to scratch. I probably need to go walking or something. And my leg literally won't rest at all. And then it's making me tired during the day. I got a couple stops to make. I'm going to do that. I'm going to come back and talk to y'all when I can. Mm. And I know I haven't got to the advice video yet. I still haven't thanked all my people for the birthday. Wishes and stuff. But hopefully some of y'all watch the vlog so y'all know I'm very appreciative of everything. Um. I'm glad my birthday didn't pass. I'm so glad it's over now. Now I'm focused on other stuff. Mmm, that's a lot of syrup. And it's so thin. I'm gonna see if I can put it in this bag. Keep it from leaking. I wish I had a wipe. Like a wet wipe? Mm, I need to get me something to put in this car. 
I don't think about that until I start messing around with this sticky stuff. I'll be back, y'all. It's so cute. I keep saying I need to do a um an ASMR video on it because you can hear the, the duck blow. Wouldn't that be cute? Well, of course, with all my nails back on, since I've been, I got in the car today, I had two nails come off. It's always like that, though, because I be doing stuff. Um, and then I'm, I feel bad, though, because these nails, you don't get that many. I was thinking about just going home and eating with y'all. I don't know. Mm. God has blessed me that I can take fresh air and relax when I need to. And that's even better. That's even better that I do that. Because when I feel good, I can make y'all feel even more better. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, most of the time, most of my life, I don't put myself first. I think about, like, my well-being. I always think about everything and everybody else around me. You know what I mean? But life is short. And God said, he want me to start being... Really good to myself. I'm gonna show him. Cause sometimes, no matter what you do, to be kind and respectful for other people, people still going to depict you and treat you whatever way they feeling inside. And what I mean by that is that. Just because somebody say something to you that's crazy. Don't mean that's on you. That's on that person. That's how they feeling about what they got going on. But they're trying to reflect it on you. So they can feel better. So in life, you got to be good to yourself. Don't feel bad about the good things you can do for yourself. Um, or a good thing that's good to you that you bring in your life. For another person or other people. Don't do that. Because when I see that people do great things or good things are happening for them or they happy, I feel happy for them. I don't feel like why they don't, they don't deserve that. Or I'm going to find a way to make them feel bad about what they got going on. Because I'm better than them. Mm -mm. I'm, usually, I'm usually always happy for a person. Or I'm like, wow, that's inspiring. Hmm. that's where I'm at today in life just getting to the point where spirit is really going to be doing or trying to do all that I can do that make me happy make me feel happy and feel deserving 
Cause you don't need really um validation from nobody to tell you what your happiness is. Now, I believe in God, so that's the only. God is the only one that can judge me. It's the only one that can guide me and lead me. So, when it comes to doing things for yourself that make you feel good within your power, you should do it. And that's why I'm sitting here relaxing. Eating my fried crab. I'm probably still gonna go home and do something for y'all too later. There's a lot of us out there that deny ourselves from simple things. Like, I'm just gonna sit on your porch and feel the, the breeze as if you don't deserve that you deserve to take a break you deserve to not have to do something all the time and you ain't always got to prove to somebody that you're important but you know people want you to always explain to them or hear you Break down why you important for whatever reason. You don't have to do that. And it's sad that there's a lot of people who's not there yet. They're still trying to be a part of something or be accepted. Mm. If a person not happy with themselves, and for whatever reason they find a reason not to like you, you trying to make them like you, gives them more grounds to dislike you even more behind your back. You going out your way being considerate towards them, and they wouldn't do it for you. Probably you just want to be accepted. So you don't do all you can do for yourself. Because you don't want nobody thinking that you feel better than them, or you're in a better class than they are, and all that crap. You're just trying to be accepted. There's no point. That's when a person got a problem with you. And you, and you haven't done nothing to them. You haven't done nothing to them. That's not you. That's them. And nothing you can do to fix that. Nothing. So, and you want to go out and get yourself a new shirt because you can afford to go get yourself a new shirt, go do it. You want to buy 10 tickets to a play or a concert? Whatever. You buy tickets to a game and you, you can afford to buy yourself a ticket. Don't feel bad. You can not buy somebody else a ticket or they can't go because they can't get a ticket. You still go enjoy yourself. Don't deprive yourself. Because you could deprive yourself. And and you say, well, I didn't go because this person couldn't afford to go. And then down the line, <laughs> they don't got tickets somewhere. And not that you couldn't afford to go. They didn't even ask you, do, they, do you want to go? Because they ain't thinking about you. A lot of times people put people first and not themselves. There's nothing wrong with that either. Um, people that love me, I, I love hard. I love them back. 
I really do. But if you don't ever feel that you're deserving, I'm gonna roll this down so I can get that fly out. Look at him. He think he's staying up in here. Brush that right there for me. Oh, he went out. Roll your window up. Oh, he came right back in. Girl, he went out. I'm from my window up. I hope they don't come around your window. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, hold up. Okay. I had long nails and I got rolled the window up like this. But yeah. I, I, I always, I don't know if y'all remember. My OGs might remember this. And I ain't gonna go into it, but I remember, like I told y'all, we had a family friend. We taking them to work, back and forth, making sure they're not late, and and we be scheduling our stuff to put them first to make sure they can make it to their job. I'm spending my last on food, trying to feed everybody in my household. Them too. Spending money on gas to get them to work. Child, they got paid. Went to go pick them up. They said they bought food. I'm thinking like, wow, that's gonna be nice because at the time, I was still eating chicken. At the time I was thinking, mm, we gonna have some fried chicken and fries or something. Child. Pick the person up. And they they're in the back of the car, throwing down eating. And I said, um, um, you only bought something to eat for yourself? They said, yeah, like, yeah, like, what you mean? I said, you ain't offering nobody nothing to eat? Oh, y'all wanna fry? Y'all wanna fry? Child, I had to pull over to get myself together. And I told him. I know you ain't offering us no fry. When I've been paying for dinner for you for three weeks, paying for gas for you to get back and forth to work. And you gonna offer us a fry? And then you see how difficult I've been having it, trying to make it. Cause you know when people live with you, it takes from your pocket. It really does. And you mean tell me you couldn't buy none of us our own fry or something to eat? Well, because I made plans. I'm going to go travel up north. And I'm going here and there and I'm doing this. Child. I'm telling you, you put people first, you look out for them. When it's their time to do right by you, they may not do right by you. Not saying everybody won't do right by you. And glory be to God, they do. But a lot of times they won't. And I told y'all, like, I had my niece stand with me. Um, we did the same thing for her. I still ain't learned my lesson by then. See, if I had learned my lesson, that second person wouldn't have been able to give me a fry. I'm telling you. No, matter of fact, my niece wouldn't have been able to stay with me. I said that backwards. Watching her kid. She working. She get paid. She handed me $2. And told me that's her part to go towards a box of cereal. And, and mind you, for the three weeks that she was in my house, I spent like $600 trying to feed her and her son, get her back and forth to work. Trying to help her become whatever she want to be. Mm-hmm. Now that it was her time to contribute and give back to the family, she couldn't see herself doing it. Mm-hmm. I could have bought my son clothes. I could have did a lot of stuff with my money. 
Mm. And he needed it at the time. Mm. Something hit the window. I don't know if that thing a dragonfly or what. But it keep hitting the window. It's big. I'm like a, like a, either a bat or a dragonfly. I don't know, y'all. I'm in the wilderness. See, when I get out in the wilderness, I want to be out here. Like, I want to go be by the lake and everything. But when I step out of this car, I start freaking out. Cause the wilderness come with stuff. Uh uh. It come with stuff. And I do not like bugs and and creatures and stuff like that. Like I like to see them. Like oh my god, look at that from a distance. But not where they can come up to me. Uh uh. I'm not one of them people. Mm. I'm definitely not saying don't be good to nobody. Create boundaries. And let people earn stuff from you. Earn that you could do for them and know that they'll be there for you too. Don't go too far with people because They'll, they'll tell you quick. I ain't asked you to do nothing for me. But ain't had nowhere to live. It was in your house. <laughs> mm hmm. So, don't forget to take care of yourself. Do little things for yourself. And don't feel bad about it. And don't let what other people think of you get to you. That's on them. And that's because they got an issue with what's going on with them. So they don't want to take it out on you. Or reflect it on you. They want you to feel some type of way. Mm, God. I just turned on the air. Mm. Hey, all my ice gone. Well, that air felt good. I'm great. Enjoy the rest of my crab. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm, I'm so good to take a break. Oh, let's go. Mm, I see a real pretty butterfly. It's real big.
want two pretzels? Don't you, you want the honey mustard arranged it or something? What kind of dip you want? Honey mustard. Yeah, I'm gonna do honey mustard. Thank you for your patience. What can I get started? Can I have a small Butterfinger Blast? Yes, ma'am. What else can I get for you? Can I have um, four pretzels with honey mustard, no cheese? Four pretzels with honey mustard, a small Butterfinger Blast. What else? And a large potato tot. Large tater tot? Yes. Anything else? That's it. Total's going to be at the window. Okay. I wanted to get me some ice cream, but I think I'm going to wait till later. <sighs> Talk come out of where I'm going. Okay. I'm really hungry. I don't even know. Yeah, I do know why I'm hungry. I didn't eat um, this morning. I, all I did was open up my hot. Um, what I had. What are them things called? Hot cheese? Hot, like hot fries? Anyway, not hot fries, cheddar, something like that. Anyway, Cheetos. I opened those up and I had a few of those. And then I started to get myself ready. To get ready to, to get out the house because I'm going to go do this oxygen stuff today. Today I'm not doing a compression. That wears me out, y'all. That wears me out like I don't worked out. Like, y'all, I don't went to somebody's boxing uh, gym and they don't work me out. That thing works me out. I can't. Mm. I don't know why this look like a fish sandwich, but it's just chicken sandwich. Look, because they drinks look. Some of be having some bomb drinks, y'all. I'm telling you, I wish I could try all of them, but that would not be good. <laughs> that would not be good. And then I'm kind of like not really trying to really drink nothing because I got like um, some ice water. And then I had cranberry juice uh, last night with my crab. So, you know, I'm not like, oh, I got to have something good to drink right now. But I do want ice cream. But I'm trying to think, am I going to get it on the way home? Or am I going to get it and sit and eat? Uh, eat my ice cream before I start driving home. I don't know. I'll see. But I didn't even say hi. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all doing good. It's just, it's an afternoon. Early afternoon. I'm early, early for my appointment. I'm glad because then I can sit and, and eat and talk to y'all um, just a bit um, before I start um, doing what I'm going to do. Well, I'm actually um, house hunting. Not really looking to move right now but looking to see like what's going on what's out here uh, you know, apartment house um what's the other one townhouse you know and try to see which direction um i'm going to be going when my lease is pretty much up yeah i got a little bit to go with my lease so I, now i gotta figure out which way i'm going from here Mm, what's taking so long? Mm. And I love Sonic's uh, shakes. Especially when I put them in the freezer. They got sweet tea here. This sweet tea say got lemon in it though. But I think you could tell them the whole remember, right? Red Bull Slush. Girl, I know that had somebody jumping off the freaking wall. Mm, mm. I'm going to eat this food and relax for a minute. I've been driving for a while. My driving leg is kind of um, achy today. So I'm going to stretch it for a minute. The sun it must be super busy. It, it is one car behind me. And they did like have, oh, oh, they might tell them people to pull around. Girl, they are busy. I think it's, I, oh, wait a minute. No, yeah, I don't know. Those cars must be pulled around because I don't see nobody at the ordering window. I don't know. Hmm. I saw a comment earlier. Someone was telling me, uh, Spirit, don't stop the word searches. I'm not going to stop the word searches, y'all, but you know, there's a season for everything. I'm not really feeling like I need to, like, word searches really, really relaxes me, but I got so much going on. Um, 
you know, by the time I finish the work search, I don't want to do anything else. So I have to make sure that like, I have nothing else to do, and I have to make sure like I'm um, really relaxed to do a word search. So. Do you have the order with the pencils and then the butter finger? Yes. Do you say you want to honey mustard? Yes, please. Okay. It should say 1867 out there. Okay. She said, she said 1867 out there. What she mean? What did she say? Did she say out there? Did she give her I was trying to give it to a car, but she closed the window. I don't think she closed it like, just closed it being fast. I think she, it just, she just told me, I don't know. She said out there. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I'm supposed to, child. You know, people be changing stuff up. Companies be changing stuff up. You, you Things be one way and then they'll change up and by the time you get back, you don't know what's going on. You feel like you're at the first day of school. Oh my God. Y'all, did y'all hate the first day of school? <laughs> going back to school. When I was a kid, I was excited about the first day. I could not wait to see it. Oh, this is, oh, you know what? I missed that. It's okay. Like this? Um, like this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, now I know. It works out. Some people don't like their things being touched. Oh, well, yeah, nowadays. I get it, but... Oh, did you need to catch up salt pepper for the um, tater tots? Uh-uh. What they mean by balance inquiry? Okay. I have no idea. It just went through. I put your receipt in the bag. Though. Okay. And then here's your ice cream. Your spoon and straws in the bag. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys have a great day. You too. All right. So when she when she said out there, she meant that there's a machine right there that you can swipe your own card now. Okay, Sonic. Okay. Okay, Spirit didn't know. I told y'all stuff be new, and I don't be knowing. I'm gonna pull in one of these spots. I'm gonna pull in one of these spots so we can eat. I'm pulling this one. This is something. I wonder what happened. I think they took all their menus out or something. They just got a whole bunch of blank spots. Hmm. I don't know. But um, they get too warm. Um, I think we're gonna have to roll up the window because the heat is weird. It feels weird. Like um, it feels hot and humid, and it makes you not feel good. Um, you know, the heat is really, really hot. Okay, so she probably was waiting for me to put my card through. And she said some people don't like their stuff to be touched, like their card. Girl, I don't know. People coming through the drive through hot, what? So what you supposed to do? Like ring on the machine, which they do like at, at what, um, what is it, Starbucks? Oh, is they supposed to reach through that window? I know my arms won't fit through that window. All right, we saw way over here to charge car light. What? Oh, mm, that ain't make sense to me. But okay. But now you don't have to worry about nobody touching your car. Right? Mm. Every time we get our car back, we sanitize it. Mmm. Well, I never taste potato tots with the honey mustard before. It's really good. Mmm. I like it. Mmm. So I'm my pepper. It's super, super hot. Mmm. That was a long ride, y'all. I'm sleeping. I feel like... I want to watch Billion. Mm. I'm watching the newest season of Billions, y'all. Y'all, was his name Matt? I thought he was gone. Now I see him back in the show. I'm 100% invested. <laughs> mm. I like that white man. I really do. I don't know what it is about him, but I like him. I kind of like um, Mike Epps too. Like I like his um his look and his character, but <laughs> what's up, so funny? 
Uh oh. <laughs> I like his look and his character, but um, I don't know. I wish they were working together so I could like both of them. But they don't like each other. Uh, for obvious reasons. But this season's gonna be good. Billions? <laughs> That's my freaking show. Last night I watched two episodes and I ended up going to sleep. I was trying to really get into it. But when I saw them bring Max, Max showed up. Mm hmm. Y'all. All their face looked like little kids' face when they saw them. You know how daddy come home for Christmas? That's how they look. <laughs> I was like, yes, yeah, this is probably good. In the, in the beginning, shocked the freak out me. When Mike threw that machine through the window. Mm. He could have hit that girl. It was shocking. But now, oh, it's gonna be good, y'all. It's gonna be good. Mm. I can't wait to get home and watch it. I had started, I didn't end up long before I left. It was getting good, too. But then they then put on billions to watch the part that she had fell asleep on. Child, I was done. I was done with the vlog. Y'all, that's such a distraction for me. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, I'm gonna cut the butt. That's good. Let me get some of this salt off. Oh, I'm gonna press some nice and hot, too. Mmm, mmm. That's what I'm talking about. And the, uh, the salt come right off, look. It come right off. That's what I like. That way you can have some, the salt you want on it. You don't need all that salt. I mean, it depends on who you are. You know, me. Shoot, my body absorbed. Well, my water. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I want to look my fingers, but I want to look the salt. Mm, just a few pieces is good enough for me. But my um, potato tots are delicious with this mustard. Come on, man. Mm. Mm. Remind me of like when I used to go to Target um, shopping, I would buy a pretzel for you to pop on. It would be so good. Mm. And some reason I have taste for for Silas pretzel today. It's like, that's what I had taste for. And usually, I have to taste for something and I'll get it. It don't, it kind of like, be like, okay, but this is really good. Mmm, satisfying my craving today. I don't know that's right. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I wish I can give y'all an update on my relationship, but I can't. All I can do is tell you it ain't looking good. <laughs> it ain't looking good. But I'm going to keep moving forward and trusting in God and see what happens. I'm going to try not to get in my own way. I don't know me. Mm, is this up to me? Mm-mm-mm. It'll be cut off, cut off, cut off, block, 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 all the way across the board. I'm telling you. <laughs> mm -mm. I would make sure that no way they can contact me again. So, I'm trying now. It's taking a lot. It ain't easy. Especially when I'm by myself. 
I start thinking about things. Mm. Me, myself, my spirit, my soul, child, we get to talking. Mm. Mm. And then I make quick decisions. So I'm trying to like, I'm not to be dating things to my spirit. I'm trying not to go deep in my soul with it. So I can stay calm through the process. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I gotta give myself a high five. I'm doing real good right now. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Cause... Hit me driving, driving so many meetings. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Let me drink my water. I'm gonna get on down this road for a minute and do what I gotta do before it's time for my appointment. And I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Mm. Mm. Y'all, I'm full. But this type of heat, I don't know, the heat is so hot. I had to put on the AC, and I don't like the AC because like too much air made my hands start to act up, and then my arms start to hurt. But oh my God, the heat is like, ugh, like make you feel sicky. That's how hot it is. Mmm. Nadine went running in the vitamin shop. I don't know what she's getting. I was trying to think of what do I need, but I feel like I got everything. I sure do. I have everything I need. I have everything I need. I have everything I need. The great I am provides for me. The great I am provides for me y'all have everything i need y'all don't need anything from the vitamin shop let me take a sip of this water because it's just ugh. Mm. and i gotta be careful with all this air because i gotta get gas mm. i gotta call my son y'all i gotta call my son and check up on him and see what's going on with him um I haven't talked to him in a little bit now. Oh, I'm going to see what's on YouTube real quick. Okay, y'all. Y'all know the first thing I saw last night. I meant to bring that up. I forgot about it. Child. Why? I, I was watching the news. I don't know. It, I was watching for a while. I kind of gave up on it. But then said that they was waiting for Donald Trump to come in and turn himself in. And then I went to sleep and I woke up and I said, dang, I missed the news. And then they said... They had a picture of, of his mug shop. And I was like, did that look like him to y'all? I don't know. That don't look like Donald Trump to me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, it, you know, similar, but it just, I don't know. I don't know. But they, they got some picture up here. But they say the first uh, president to have a mug shot. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. In this mugshot, I do look like he uh, he's upset. Child, and let me see what's going on with the news. So today, I'm in the lay down one where you lay down. Um, I don't really like this one. I kind of sat up. I sat up. Um, I sat up for a little bit. Laying down is kind of like just let me move flat. And I got pillows behind me and stuff like that. But uh, it's gonna be time for me to get out of here soon. So I'm scratching my back, preparing to get up out of here. I was supposed to be inside of the chair, which is over there, but they gave my appointment to someone else someone else took my appointment for the chair so I had to get in a lay down one which 
each other on light. <laughs> but it's okay. Whew, spare the lights. I am so glad that I am done uh, with the hyperbaric, I think I'm saying it right, oxygen. Uh, but I feel so good. I feel so good. Within 10 minutes, I can kind of feel my muscles relax. And then within like 20 minutes, I can feel like certain pain and certain parts of my body start to ease out. And um, I was just trying to just relax as much as possible but um the place that i normally go to they had a, like a whole new staff like the whole new staff the other day i was a little worried because the staff that was there before was like like the best staff like just the best and i could feel comfortable and i don't have to worry like they're going to be able to like help me if i need help so with the uh when i got there I was supposed to, I made an appointment for the chair. They have the chair and they have the bed where you lay down. I'm more comfortable in the chair because um, my body is already like in a lot of pain, stuff like that. I don't want to get too relaxed, like laying flat, too relaxed and I feel like I'm stiff or I can't move and I can't, you know, and I uh, um, I end up feeling like I'm going to get stuck there and I'm going to need help, you know. So in the chair, I feel a little bit more comfortable, but still, you still need like some type of assistance because it's like climbing out of it. That's the only part I don't like. I feel like, in my opinion, that I wish that they had like a, a you know, like a massage bed and then the bed go down and then, you know, into the oxygen tank and then lift back up when it's time to get out. Like light bulb, like why don't they have something like that? I, girl, I don't know, but anyway, so it's like a, a process of getting in there. No, either the chair, or the bed, it's a process. So, but the chair is a little bit easier to get in than the bed. So uh, when I got there, uh, somehow or another, someone took my appointment. You know, they was in the chair when I got in there. The person that was helping me, my guy. He did not know that um, someone was in there, and um, they had, uh, so he was like, well, do you want to wait for them to finish? And I was like, no, I don't want to wait no hour, so I'm going to go ahead and get in the bed. Even in my brain, I was like, girl, don't you try it. You're going to be stuck in there, okay? But in my, my, my heart was like, spirit, be brave. You can do it. <laughs> girl, you can do it. Because you, y'all noticed that each time that I do or go to restore, I'm feeling so much better so it's like I don't want to give up on myself I don't want to be like let fear stop me from doing what's gonna make me feel better you know what I'm saying so my heart was like go ahead be brave you can do it so um, when I got in there um, they had um, the young man he was on my my right and then the young lady was on my left and they kind of like guide me down into the bed and I was so worried but the guy was so strong that girl he just took me by my waist and my arm and he laid me back down into the bed and, and I went in I went in like so easy I didn't even feel myself like you know usually you like I got a fly here it just pestered me guys it's a baby fly too girl the baby fly land on me like hi are you mommy no I am not your mommy out of here you got to get out of this car it's just flying around baby fly so tiny y'all oh. anyway um so I was like okay I'm in here and so I put on the thing and everything and I relaxed and everything and I felt good and everything and then when it was time to get out but the whole time I was in there I was like oh my god like I hate when a real cute man has got to see me in distress hmm? yeah so like I don't know y'all like the guy is he's really handsome he's really cute and, and he's young like um and like he's very attractive and I'm just like oh my god like oh my god like when I'm when I like when I'm in the like not distressed but I need a little I don't know I just be like dang I, I wish it was just like women here sometimes like strong women but then I was just I was so happy and grateful that he was so strong he made me feel so comfortable and so safe and then I get in there y'all and my wig is stuck on the freaking zipper and he trying to get my hair off and get the zipper on my hair on the zipper and child felt my wig move from my forehead back and I'm like oh snap I know my wig better not come <laughs> girl my wig better not come off <laughs> I 
I was saying to myself, I started talking through the week. I said, if you come off, you trash. I'm trashing you. I'm not playing with you. Come off if you want to. You better stay on my head. You better hold on tight, girl. <laughs> but yeah, it was just, um, I felt so comfortable and so good. And I'm so glad that I did it because I feel so good. Now I'm just, I'm about to um, head on home, drink me a little bit of water. I just gave the birds some water. But I still got a little bit of cold water. Uh, the birds out there, the birds hot today, y'all. I wish I had like a paper cup bowl that I could just pour water in so they could drink the water. I wish they had like little small bird baths, different places, and you could just pour water in there for the birds. Because, you know, the birds, it's hot. They thirsty. I can't promise tomorrow. You're gonna feel out of day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here.